Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you initially set up your sales tax in QuickBooks Online, to then add, edit, or inactivate sales tax agencies in QuickBooks Online, open the sales tax page by clicking the Taxes link in the navigation bar, and then clicking the Sales Tax tab in the page that opens to the right. Alternatively, hover over the Taxes link in the navigation bar, and then roll over and click the Sales Tax link in the side menu that appears to also open the same page. In the upper right corner of the Sales Tax page, which is called the Sales Tax Center in QuickBooks Online, is a Sales Tax Settings button. To add, edit, or inactivate the Sales Tax Agencies, click the Sales Tax Settings button to show a page that lists the existing Sales Tax Agencies. If needed, to go back to the Sales Tax Center page, click the Back to Sales Tax Center link in the upper left corner of the page. To add a new Sales Tax Agency, click the Add Agency button in the Tax Agency section to open an Add Agency pane at the right side of the window. Use the Agency drop-down to select the name of the Sales Tax Agency. Then use the Filing Frequency drop-down to choose how often you must file with the selected tax agency. Then select the Start Date of the Sales Tax Tracking for this agency from the Start Date Calendar drop-down. To set the reporting method to use for tracking sales tax for that agency, select a choice from the Reporting Method drop-down. When finished, click the Save button at the bottom of this pane to save the agency. Alternatively, to cancel creating the agency, click the X button in the upper right corner of the pane. To edit the information for an existing tax agency, click the Edit link under the Action column for the Sales Tax Agency to edit in the Tax Agency section of this page to open its details in a pane at the right side of the screen. Change the filing frequency, start date, and or reporting method as needed, and then click the Save button at the bottom of the pane to save your changes. Alternatively, to make the agency inactive, Click the Make Inactive button in the bottom of this pane, and then click the Make Inactive button in the confirmation window that opens to stop collecting tax for the agency if needed. Alternatively, you can also inactivate a sales tax agency by clicking the drop down in the Action column of the Tax Agency section of this page for the tax agency selecting the Make Inactive command from the drop-down menu, and then clicking the Make Inactive button in the confirmation window that opens to stop collecting tax for the agency if needed. To reactivate an inactive tax agency if needed, click the Settings Gear button in the upper right corner of the Tax Agency section of this page, and check the Include Inactive checkbox in the drop-down menu to show the inactive tax agencies. Then click the Make Active link for the Sales Tax Agency to reactivate. You can then uncheck the same Include Inactive checkbox to hide the inactive entries again. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.